Only two months ago, Chun was South Korea's most powerful man. He handed over the presidency to his successor, No Tae U, in February, but maintained his influence through an important advisory role. Now, the former general who seized power in 1980 after a military coup is forced to stand back humiliated because of a family scandal. His younger brother, Chun Kyung Hwan, is charged with embezzling $10 million from a rural development fund. Speaking at home, Chun said he was sorry for the controversy his younger brother had caused. He felt he was fully to blame for failing to keep his brother within bounds. His resignation should now steer any hint of scandal away from President No in the run-up to the country's elections later this month. The demonstrations started peacefully. The students shouted anti-government slogans and burned an effigy of President No Tae Wu. But inflammatory words and symbolic gestures soon turned into inflammatory acts. The number of Molotov cocktails the students had to hand suggested they'd come prepared. But the rally was just a preliminary before they got down to the real thing. But the police were also prepared and more than willing to fight fire with fire. As well as with the usual weapon, tear gas. There was a moment when it looked as though the students might get the upper hand. A Molotov cocktail set alight one of the hated tear gas launchers. But instead of blowing up, it just got going with a vengeance. With that, the clash was effectively over. By South Korea's recent standards, the flare-up was fairly run-of-the-mill. But worrying to the government all the same, particularly with the Olympics getting nearer.